Oh no, can you get me one please? Thanks. Yo, what's going on everybody? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Friday, December 10th, 2021. And my voice is a little screwy. I can't hit my highs, my lows. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is, dude. Got a little chest congestion here. Uh, just, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> little raspy voice today. Started coming on Wednesday. I felt, I did the Wim Hof breathing that night, Wednesday night. Felt good Thursday. Or I don't even know. Whatever. I felt good the one day after. Then the next day I felt bad. I think it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today's Friday. So up and down. You know. Gotta lay off that sticky icky, man. The sticky icky. That shit'll get you, man. Sticky icky. So I gotta get some sun. You know, it's cold out here. It's winter time. There's not a lot of sun. You know, I can't go outside with no clothes on <laughs> sun your balls so i haven't been sunning my balls recently and now i'm paying the price so i know so you know just a little something something a creamer too i've been drinking coffee with creamer that's probably fucking me up too all that sugar, all that oil. I tried to get one. No, now this is cream though. It's fat. It's it's milk fat. No oil in my shit. I get the Chobani one. I don't even know if it's if it's good, but at least it doesn't have hydrogenated oils. All right, so we're back here with another DraftKings week. I think it's week 14. Let me take a look at these NFL lines here and see who the big dogs are. Uh, I was actually looking at the the games here, the DraftKings earlier in the week. Usually I don't do that, but I'm doing it now. I did it this week. Okay, so one of the games I did like here was the Seahawks and the Texans. But to my surprise, shockingly... It's only a 41 point line. I would have thought this would have been 48, 47, 50 even. I mean, really, 41. Don't the Texans give up a lot? I mean, they're the one, two, three. They're the fourth worst defense here on the DraftKings slate this week. So how? I guess they do. They get some picks against Tennessee. Four sacks against Miami. I don't know. I mean, I was feeling a Russell Wilson stack here. So apparently uh, Russell Wilson had finger surgery. For those of you who didn't know. For the first time in four games since returning from finger surgery, Wilson looked more like himself, and his line would have been even better had Gerald Everett not bobbled a pass at the goal line, turning a short touchdown into a pick on Seattle's first drive in the second half. So it looks like Wilson, Russell Wilson here, had a few bad games because of finger surgery. And now he's starting to come back and look like himself. So I saw that and I'm like, all right, opportunity. There's some opportunity here with Russell Wilson. Oh, also I got this new, uh, this Bitcoin right here. Every, anyone's watching on video. You won't be able to see it if you're listening to podcasts, but all the video watchers, you see this uh, Bitcoin spinning down here. Uh, it's a GIF. I got it from Clippy or Clippy or something. You could actually see their name written under it when it spins i think it's clippy it's just a gif you know i just googled a bitcoin gif and here it is you know it looks fucking cool right so i give some motion for the people that are trying to look at something because i know all y'all most of y'all if you're watching a video you want to see something so 
fixate your eyes on the Bitcoin hypnosis. I then go learn about sound money, learn about fixed supply, learn about no middleman, learn about the Byzantine general's problem, and fall in love. Just fall in love with Bitcoin. Save your life. Save your family's life. Save humanity. Yes, Bitcoin is that big. It will save humanity. From what? From ourselves. God damn. That's deep, baby. That is deep. Bitcoin will save humanity from ourselves. Ain't that some shit? Get on it, baby. Get on it. So y'all can watch that spinning and spinning. That's pretty cool. All right. So yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go Russell Wilson stack here against all odds. He's been down. He's had shitty games. The over under is only 41 on this game. But we're going to do it anyway. Fuck, did I pull this over? Hold on, hold on now. I got to put something up here. I don't want to spoil the fun. Where's my shit at? Splash screen. All right, so I also have this splash screen. So check it out. So we got the splash screen up now. We got the spinning Bitcoin shit. We got my name, all that shit. Health, family, Bitcoin, just all over the place. Look at this. We got the graphics, baby. All right, how do I get rid of that shit now? There we go. All right, yo, just the graphics. You know, I just like fucking around in Photoshop. Now I could have edited this dude's GIF, but I do think it's great. It looks good. And for me to edit it, I, I did Photoshop. I imported it as a GIF or whatever the hell you got to do. And it said I need a quick time update or something. So I was like, I ain't fucking with it. Oh, you got to import it. You got to import the frames as layers. That's how you do it. So, you know, I know all that shit, but then I got to update my quick time. I'm like, do I even have quick time on my computer? I don't even know, but I don't feel like deal- downloading that shit. I just use this dude's GIF. It, it looks fresh. It looks good. So I'm down with it. All right, so we're going to go Russell Wilson stack this week. We don't care what the odds makers say. We don't care what Vegas says. 41 points. No, we're going, baby. So, of course, if we're going to run Russell Wilson, is it going to be a bounce back game for this Everett dude who dropped the touchdown, Gerald Everett? I mean, look at the targets this man is seeing. He's seeing a ton of targets. He has been on one of these up and down streaks it looks like cold hot cold hot cold last week now he's coming through for a hot week in week 14 will it be so 3500 is pretty cheap and you know check him out dude he could he could have a bounce back game but looking at the two receivers oh no DK Metcalf is he Oh no, illness. Metcalf foot missed Thursday practice with an illness. Metcalf already logged one, did not play this week due to the foot injury that followed him for much of the campaign, which typically is the extent of his weekly practice limitations. With an illness in tow, he fortunately has time to put it behind him in advance of Sunday's game at Houston, but his status should be continued to watch. Be watched. Okay, uh... He's really been bad too, DK Metcalf. 11, 2, 7, and 5 in his last four games. He started off hot, a couple 25, 26, 22 point games, but really he's been quiet. So we got a couple options here with the Seattle's receivers or pass catchers. I think we're definitely going to go Tyler Lockett, though. I want to go Lockett Metcalf, if I'm being honest. But if Metcalf is out, hopefully I'll come back on Saturday and check this. <laughs> come on, Dub. You got to check it. Man. You want to win that Millie? You got to check. You got to get more Bitcoin, right? I'm trying to get more Bitcoin. So to get more Bitcoin, I need more fiat. Or I could just provide a uh, service or something product 
and uh, gain some stuff. You know, how do I do that? What can I provide? I'm not sure. I'm making these videos and doing shit like this, but how to monetize? I don't really want to do the monetization through YouTube. You got to hook up your bank account and do all this stupid shit. Fuck that. I'd rather monetize through other means. Let's say Odyssey, perhaps. Is there going to be a Bitcoin social media? We got Hive going on right now. You know, all these things are possibilities, but I would never trust any of them fully unless it was a Bitcoin platform through whatever. I don't even know if it's possible yet, but I'm sure some engineers or entrepreneurs will figure that out. And we'll all be making money, creating content. We'll all be making Satoshis. We'll all be making bits. I'm still on the bit team. Team bit. Bit. I'm still on the bit team over Satoshi. I do get, let's pay homage, let's pay respects to Satoshi Nakamoto. All respects. I mean, the savior of the universe right there. Satoshi is the savior of humanity. It cannot be whatever, undersold, discredited, extreme genius, and just... Uh, amazing you know i mean it really is super deep and i just can't even express how grateful i am for not only the invention for not only the bitcoin technology but just the fact that i can recognize it and i appreciate it and i value it so highly let's go and i just have to share you know i just have to share that passion so all right we're gonna do russell wilson tj lockett or Tyler Lockett <laughs> and DK Metcalf. Yeah, my voice is really fucked up right now. I can't, I can't get the grumbles out, the, uh, uh, the effort. You know, I normally put a lot of fucking strain on my voice. I put a lot of oomph into my words, and right now I'm feeling like kind of, kind of, uh, it's missing. It's missing that that step, that force. But that's all right. We'll get through it. We're going to get through it here. All right. Who else are we going to look at? You know, I mean, look, should we run this game back? 41 points. I mean, I'm just thinking craziness right here. Craziness. But should I run it back with the Houston Texans number one receiver, Brandon Cooks? We could run this back. Come on now. We should we could run this back. Brandon Cooks, baby. Brandon Cooks. Is he gonna do something? I mean, look at him. Look at what he's doing in a blowout loss against the Colts last week. They lost 31 to 0. Here's another potential redemption story. I'm looking at these redemption stories. I don't know if it's wise, but something about it makes me want to pull the trigger on these dudes and scoop them up on my team. So Cooks did lead the Texans in targets and receiving yards last week, but he still sucked with 8.4 points. I think I'm going to do something crazy, though. I'm going to run Cooks. I'm just going to run him. I was thinking about running the Seahawks D, too, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know about that. Their opponent, like, the, the Texans suck, you know? I mean, they could really wreck... They could wreck the Texans. They're only averaging 4.5 points a game. I'm going to put him in there, though. I don't know if this is wise, but we're going to run the Seahawks. Throw the Seahawks in there. All right, who else are we looking at? Who else are we looking at? I was looking on this slate earlier, and I saw the Chiefs Raiders game. 48-point line. The Chiefs are 9.5-point favorites. Oh my goodness. In Kansas City. And I also saw a story on this dude, Josh Jacobs, where he's trying to beat Antonio Cromartie's record of kids out of wedlock with different women. Now, if you don't know, Antonio Cromartie holds the record. I believe he has 14 kids with eight different chicks. All right. So hats off to Antonio Cromartie. Dude's definitely laying the pipe, spreading the seed across eight different women to create 14 
unique humans. So how about it? How about it, Antonio Cromarty? Now, the downside to spreading your seed in the field is all the money that you have to pay in child support. Because you know damn well he ain't with none of those eight eight <laughs> Or maybe hey, maybe he is, right? Maybe he's got a a relationship with all these chicks and he kept it out of the courtroom. That would be actually good, right? Keep that shit out of the courtroom. He just handles it, bees responsible, pays those kids. But there was a story out there, I don't know how true it is, just glanced at it, that Josh Jacobs was actually trying to defeat Antonio Cromarty and break his record of 14 kids with eight different women. And I think Josh Jacobs, let's just look it up here. Let's look it up. What Josh Jacobs kids? I mean, somebody's got to make a website. NFL kid count, athlete kid count. All right, let's see. Oh, all right, Josh Jacobs. So he has eight kids with eight different women. So he's he's already got eight women down, but he's not giving them more than one kid. So Cromarty was he has fourteen kids, I think, with eight women. He was giving each girl a couple kids, but Josh Jacobs is like, no, nah, I'm trying to go one for one. All right, that's all you get. Everybody gets one kid. Line up. You got eight kids with eight different women. The ninth kid is on the way. So I don't, I don't see how there's any way we don't pick up Josh Jacobs this week, right? I mean, if he's if he's trying to break Cromartie's record, and it just came out, and people are trying to rip him for it. I think he's going to have a little chip on his shoulder and be like, yeah, I am breaking that record. Give me some time. All right. Get tired with all these pumps. So I think we, I, I don't think there's any way we don't go Josh Jacobs this week. And look at the guy. He's a running back, but he's also a receiver. Nine, four, seven, five targets in the last four games. I mean, last week he had nine catches on nine targets. What? This dude just adds value to the passing game. All right? So I think we're just going to have to go and help Josh Jacobs in his attempt to break Antonio Cromartie's record. So good luck. You can do it, bro. You can do it. And all right. All right. How about this dude? How about we run it back? With this Edwards Hilaire. How about we run it back with Edwards Hilaire, though? Think we could do that? That's what I was thinking, too. Let's play the craziest stack. Russell Wilson with Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf. Run it back with Brandon Cooks. And then hop on the Chiefs-Raiders game. And pick both running backs. Can we do something like that? They seem so cheap. All these guys are like 6K, mid sixes. Brandon Cooks is 5,700, but look at his squad. Look at his lineup. It was just calling my name. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go. Let's let's go with this lineup, dude. All right. So now we got to find ourselves a tight end. Who can we fit tight end wise here? And my eyes were just drawn to this fellow. Noah Fonts. I do recall this guy had a good game one week. Maybe it was week six against the Raiders. Maybe that's a sign I should be playing. Um, what's his name? The dude from the Chiefs. I'm sure he's expensive as hell, though. The hell's that dude's name? Kelsey, Travis Kelsey. Yeah, 7,400. Did they play the Chiefs this year? No. All right, so I do remember Noah Font going off in the Millie Maker. He did help somebody win a million dollars. It was probably week six. Now he's got a matchup against Detroit, and I'm pretty sure Detroit's shitty as hell against tight ends. And just shitty as hell in general on defense. 28 in the league rushing defense. 21 in the league passing defense. So Noah Font is going to find his way on our team. All right, now we got to find a flex player 
for about 4,600. Let's see who's out there. 4,600. Damn, we're going way down. We're going way down. 4,600. The punt play. All right, we could go Rex Burkhead on the Seahawks, but no, we're already playing, or on the Texans. We're already playing Brandon Cook, so we don't want to do that. T. Homer. I don't know who this guy is. Travis Homer, but that's a Seahawks game. No. Carlos Hyde actually is interesting to me on the Jaguars. I would he's from the 49ers, uh, but he's not really seeing any receptions like you would expect. One week, week eight, he got eight targets. He had six catches on eight targets, but other than that, he's not really seeing anything. And the Jaguars are playing the Texans. You know the Texans are good at rushing defense, but they suck first the pass. So the opposite, I would like to go with Jaguars. We got Corey Davis. He's on IR though. We got Sterling Shepard, who's interesting, actually. But we played a receiver against the Chargers last week. Who was it? Tyler Boyd, I think we went with. Yeah, he had 10 points, but it wasn't a breakout smacker. Sammy Watkins, interesting, but he's on the Ravens. What are the Ravens talking about, right? They run the ball, the... the the quarterback runs the ball all the time. Plus, they got other dudes. Who else do they got over there on the Ravens? I know there's one guy, Brown or something. Who do the Ravens got? They got this guy, M. Brown. Marquise Brown. He's like the only guy that goes off, I think. So, I'd only want to play him if I was going for a Raven. And the other option we got is as i lost it where were we okay this guy marvin jones jr how about marvin jones jr we just talked about carlos hyde we don't want to run him because the texans are good against the run but they suck against the pass well how about this marvin jones jr they're playing the texans or the titans they're playing the titans now marvin jones you know two catches on three targets last week for 11 yards damn but we're talking about the redemption story. We're talking this week about redemption. That's the theme of our lineup this week. So Marvin Jones Jr. is a mega fit. Now let's kick this Seahawks defense out and see if there is a better one that we could choose here. All right, so our options look like we got the Bucks at home against the Bills, the Seahawks on the road against the Texans, the 49ers on the road against the Bengals, and that's probably it. Do I want to dip down into 2,900? Not really. You know, I'll say, though, the Bucks are tempting. Let's take a look at that line. What's the line on that Bucks game, dude? Where's the Bucks at? 50. Three. Oh my goodness so that game's just gonna be high scoring can it be can the bucks defense though score a lot of fantasy points and give up a lot of points and the answer to that is yes look at week 12 here where the bucks traveled to indianapolis they gave up 31 points against the colts and they, their defense still got 12 points on DraftKings. So they can still give up a shitload of points and score good fantasy value. Now let's look at the Seahawks and see if they can do the same thing. They can give up 23 points against the Niners and get 9 points. Okay, that's not too bad. They gave up 23 points against the Cardinals, but only two fantasy points in DraftKings. They gave up 23 points against the Steelers, only three points in DraftKings. 26 points against the Rams, only three points. So the Seahawks don't look like they could actually do it. So I think maybe we boot the Seahawks and we go with the Bucks. Let's just go with the Bucks. All right, there it is. That's our lineup. For the week let's win a million dollar and hey maybe we gonna have some more babies too all right that's gonna be it for this one thank y'all for watching later